Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share with you an unboxing and first look of the QSP Gannett. This is a another beautiful uh, design from QSP. The model number is QS137B comes in this standard QSP magnetic box like all previous knives uh, it also has it's like quick information card which you can see the model number what kind of washer or pivot assembly is using and of course a few specifications and then information so QSP is being uh, delivering uh, constant great quality in my opinion so a uh, few knives that I got from them are uh, uh, really well made uh, at a really good price point so the Gannett uh, this version has a 10 micarta and uh, CF bolster uh, scale. As you can see this is a burlap style my micarta, so a really pronounced weave of fabric. It is a top flipper construction. The specifications are, we have a overall length of 20 centimeters or 7.9 inches. The blade length is 8.5 centimeters or 3.3 inches. The blade width is 2.3 centimeters or 0 0.9 inches. The blade thickness is 3 millimeters or 0 0.12 inches. The hand length is 11.5 centimeters or 4.5 inches. The handle thickness is 1.3 centimeters or 0. 5 inches that is without the width of the pocket grip materials used on this one we have a really beautiful I would say almost like a hand wrapped uh, satin finish almost a mirror of a 154cm the nice drop point uh, profile and full flat uh, grounded blade. The handle scales are made like I mentioned, is a two piece construction with micarta and carbon fiber, and uh, mirror polished, skeletonized uh, stainless steel liners. We have a liner lock construction with a nice uh, deep carry uh, polished stainless steel pocket clip. and a black G10 uh, backspacer. The pivot assembly, it rides on uh, KVT probably ceramic uh, ball bearing washers, so it is really nice and smooth. We have a perfect centering. The pocket clip has only one position, so uh, if you if you want to carry it uh, uh, on your left side, then uh, please be careful. The weight of the knife comes in a 99.6 grams or 3.5 ounces. Now, well, let me show you the sharpness. So it came really a laser sharp work. Should I say scary sharp? This is how we want to to have uh, your blade uh, to be performing out of the box. So uh, really great uh, quality control from QSP right there. 
it's a nice uh, um, 3D milled uh, pivot screw. Now let me show you the pocket profile. This gun goes in really nice and smooth, so this will be a joy to uh, carry and uh, to use uh, every day. This is how much it's sticking out, almost nothing, so really well made. I would prefer if it was uh, completely blacked out just uh, to not to draw so much attention to your pocket but anyway that is only a minor uh, detail okay so now let us see a few size comparisons so let me bring out the QSP uh, Pelican my first QSP knife this is a little bit larger also with a nice micarta handle scales and uh, S35VM blade. And let's continue with the 2 knife Cebu D2 and micarta. The Kubi Aries. CVV Elementum Buck Sprint Pro also in another uh, kind of Berlab Micarta Kaiser Pinch CVV Rustic Gent, also CF and Berlab Micarta, the Tuna Fire Casivo Free Tiger Model 956, then I have here on the table the Tucson 227. Tucson 187 Strider SMG Kaiser Backlighter with uh, linen micarta scales And now let's continue with some non micarta knives. So here is the Spider Co. Endura, Spider Co. Delica, a large reptilian. Small Griptilian Bug Windage Pro Kershaw Blur Red Model 1 K Bar Dozier Folding Hunter Kershaw Shuffle 2 Rough Rider Peanut and Buck Toothpick Okay, so the, uh, the overall um, 
feeling that I'm getting from this knife is really EDC uh, friendly design. Uh, it will accommodate uh, a large variety of sizes of hands. I have Excel size hands, so I uh, can fit it really nicely without no problems. All four fingers right there. It might develop a little bit hot spot uh, because of the angle of the pocket clip right here. So keep that in mind that probably this is not a knife you would like to use for heavy duty tasks, but it is, in my opinion, more like a uh, gentleman carry with this nice uh, bolster uh, look with the CF and my carta. So uh, probably all, all around the house and the office, so opening packages, breaking down some boxes. And of course, uh, 150 cm is really nice a stainless steel blade to prepare your food with, and it gives it a, a little bit uh, more uh, premium, uh, so feeling uh, with the and look uh, with the satin hand wrapped finish on the blade. Okay, so let's talk about the pricing. So price wise, we're looking at MSRP of uh, 103. Uh, dollars and fifty cents uh, this uh, should be available from different uh, retailers uh, for around 82 uh, to 83 dollars depending of course uh, uh, how much the shipping is and uh, additional costs but uh, for that amount of price it is uh, really a, a good bargain for what you are getting also uh, what I would like to mention uh, you have a few options regarding the the materials on the handle so you have uh, this 10 micarta plus cf then you have a a black g10 and cf and a green micarta with a uh, cf so if you don't own any uh qsp and knives uh currently then uh, i strongly just check out their catalog they have uh, quite a large range of, of really well-made uh, designs uh, they are focused on on the carrying ink capabilities of the knife that uh, they design they design a good handle with a good pocket clip that uh, it is a uh, pleasure to uh, to to carry and own of course because some uh, some of the some of the new designs that i did experienced had a really good uh, either blade or handle but then the the pocket clip was problematic and um, uh, let's face it if you have problems to put the knife inside your pocket then uh, you will probably not end up uh, carrying it so yeah that is a shame if you are a collector then that is probably not a big issue for you maybe if you are going for some style of knives then uh, you want to collect them and display them then that is not a problem but overall I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, to see what uh, QSP will release and if I have the possibility to get my hands on some more knife then I probably will and then share it here with you all on my channel so stay tuned for that uh, if you have any questions regarding the knife or anything else like always please leave comments down below I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then please consider subscribing. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes that's all the stuff uh, regarding my other hobbies. That being said, I would like to thank you for your time and I hope to see you soon. Bye.